Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. And in the last episode, we took care of Maximilian Roivas' chapter. And now... And we got all the runes, so that means we can cast whatever form of spell we frickin' so desire. Which is going to be very good for us. But what we need to do now is to get up here... ...and enter this room. And come here. As we see Zelototh sigils here, we need to do a reveal Jaturga. And with that, the seal has been broken. Damn it. Oh wait, I got the dresser key. Let's open it. What do we got? We got a gun! And... A journey into darkness. Your guardians have located the heart of Mantarok. Yes, located within its grave. As we suspected. It shall be retrieved at once. Be wary. The power of Mantarok lingers still. Corroding the universe around its tomb. It will doubtlessly be guarded after these seven centuries. The beast has not been contained. I can assure you that my binding of Mantarok, fueled by your very own power, will be enough. It is not your sorcery that we doubt, Augustus, but the power of the dead god. How can you, a mere mortal, comprehend what that entity represents, or what power it can wield. We know not. And we know more than thou. Your future depends on me, Majesty. Without me to open the gates... Yes, yes. Be quick, lest our power and our faith in you wanes to oblivion. It will never happen. I have seen. Sounds like the ancients are getting pretty impatient with Pius here. Anyways, let's read A Journey Into Darkness! The ancients' influence was incredible. From all walks of life to all parts of the world, their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardians' work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area, to reveal the secrets of history. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to help. After a dysentery-riddled two-week venture, Lindsay and Augustine located the remains of an ancient city temple dating back to the 12th century. Yes, this is it. It has to be. I hadn't expected the information to pan out, but here it is. The satellite data was correct. For years, I have searched for it without success. Here, all along, clouded from us beneath the great ancient's insidious magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. Very pleased. In fact, so pleased. I will give you an early bonus. My God! You are a scholar, Dr. Lindsay, not a warrior. 
In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. Don't be a fool. Die quietly. And you will not suffer. You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be your tomb, just as it is Mantarox. Guardians of Zelatov, kill him! Now, this will be a little bit easier to kill um, the enemies with, due to the fact that we got a shotgun and an automatic pistol. We're gonna go with the shotgun to kill these fuckers. The only thing you've really gotta worry about is them attacking you. If you let them- if they let them sting you, they will do a summoning spell. Which is dick. But with the shotgun, we should do fine. And down it goes. Let's finish it off. There. We've rid this little area of its insipid magic. Now, as an archaeologist, we have to examine dust and spider webs and all that, and use our brush. What is that? Let's take the bronze bracelet. A statue of a seated goddess. Where her neck and wrist should bear jewelry, there are merely worn grooves and flecks of bronze dust. Had they been stolen? You know what to do here, guys. It's so fucking simple. Come on. Let's not kid ourselves. But Lindsay's chapter is also really important because we can get a very powerful rune here. One that will make the game insepidly broken. Even more broken than it is now. Let's take the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Flashback! And go on. Now, we gotta be careful here because there will be traps. I should de-equip the shotgun and go with the pistol on this one. You die. Oh, hey, look. It's the candle puzzle from way back in the game. An alcove carries an array of candles. They are arranged to reflect the time of the day. Curiously, they are still lit. How is this possible? This can't be happening! It would help to equip a torch, so that way you could see the, the traps and the spider webs and dust that you have to... Oh, trapper. I didn't see him. No matter. He doesn't seem to notice me. Search both these things, because you'll see, you know, these. The metal bracelet. It's very useful. We'll leave the trappers to their own schemes. Because there's really no point in harming them. And they're being stupid and ruining the things themselves. Anyways, let's take the tier, which is the summon. We'll be getting a summoning spell in this chapter. It's a horror. But it's behind a barrier of sorts. He can't harm us, and we can't harm him. So... We'll worry about that later. And we can't go this way, we gotta go back. Oh yeah, make sure you got that bronze necklace. Okay, I still hear that trapper. And the fucker's setting off. Ah, crap. I don't think we need anything. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, hi, bye. Alright, let's just... Get out of here. And let's go give the bronze necklace back to that goddess. Ah, stup- Lindsay! Anyways, give the bronze necklace, and the other way shall be opened to you. Uh... 
And that way is open. Goody. Anyways, traverse. I don't think there's any trappers here. Ah, yes. A stone statue of a naga, a snake-headed demon, stands guard in the corner of the room. A raised platform stands before it with a bracelet on it. Anyway, yeah, just take the bracelet, the silver bracelet, the doors will shut. Yeah, and then we'll be attacked by the Naga statue. What you gotta do is that you gotta put the metal bracelet down so the Naga will be pleased and fooled. And if you didn't grab the metal bracelet, well, you gotta put the silver one back. Okay, be careful of the traps here. Equip our weapon. Don't know why we can't dual wield a torch and a sword, or better yet, my handgun. But, whatever. I can hurl this fucker, so that's awesome. Anyways, re-equip the torch. Step on a trap. Eh, yeah, fuck this. Get, get out your gun. Kill it. Finish it off. Come over here. And use our archaeologist brush. To uncover another rune. Tablet. That's gonna come in handy. Well, shit. There's a lot of you fuckers. There's... There's no time! Ah! Get off! There's no time! Your torch will be enough! Torch, fucker! <laughs> Look at him dance! Look at him dance! Anyways, I should probably finish these things off. No, I want to finish them off. Motherfucker! Load. Finish it off. <sighs> Annoying. We got one rune. We need another. Now keep a lookout for torches. And if you can, obvious traps. Oh wait, I already had my torch equipped. Why did I throw it away? Because I'm a tool, that's why. Give the silver bracelet to the goddess here. And we still got more to do. Ah! Aha! Use it! And we have just obtained the Dispel Magic Scroll! And we got everything needed! Nethlak Rackamore! We'll be coming back here, so... Now, let's use the Dispel Magic. Oh, wait, hold up. Before anything. Let's enchant the shotgun! Now we got a Chaturga shotgun. This is definitely gonna help. Now, let's dispel his fucking barrier. And... Spam. Fuck you, I got a shotgun! A Jaturga shotgun! Aha! Take the silver necklace. And now it's time to finish you! Fatality! Vinzy wins! And now, finally, give the silver necklace to this goddess. 